everyone, and welcome to Matt Watches. Originally, this was intended to be a Matt and Mike Watches, but I believe for some reason we used a different microphone and it turned out absolutely horrid. Even just trying to get through the dialogue at the very beginning of the movie, I couldn't hear what either I or Mike were saying, and I had turned down the volume on the movie extremely low. So, uh, with that in mind, I hope to take you through this. Uh, this, this movie was a random pick, and it is the, uh, the last Starman movie to be created at the time, at least. Um, also, we found out that the previous episode of uh, Starman that we had, uh, or previous movie, either way, uh, that we had made fun of and commented over, rather, was, in fact, the second episode where I had definitely seen the review of the first one. But the that out of the way, let's watch and enjoy the silly final act of Starman with the evil brain from outer space. Enjoy. Oh, that sound's not piercing my skull any at all. Oh, that's not horrifying in the least bit. Ugh. Japan, what were you thinking? As dildos fly through space. On the planet Zemar, far within the moving galaxy, a decontrolled robot assassinated the omnipotent Balazar, no. who was known to possess the most brilliant mind in the universe. <laughs> so powerful was Balazar's genius that as he lay dying, his brain ordered built a mechanism which would keep it alive even though his body was destroyed. And give him and now a silver cost. brain seeks universal conquest. But here on the Emerald Planet, the highest council in the Marpet Galaxy considers Supported by Gurr and the guy from the uh, Dead Earth Space. And to the planet Earth itself. Balazar's brain leads the infiltration of Earth, preparing it for the attack forces which will follow. And that attack will be with nuclear weapons. And starfish. The flood of radioactivity, oh, which inevitably will spill out into space, is what primarily concerns these Emerald Planet creatures. High radioactivity, the emerald creatures realize, will poison even the distant reaches of outer space. No. As a result, it is possible that in time, other planets such as this will become uninhabitable. Why do I only have fingers? Deciding what Why do I look like this? They have learned that Balazar's space version of the giant leeches to command the Sumerian spies and saboteurs. If this evil force can be stopped and destroyed, that plant going the other way just a second ago? Begins, and now it's going back the other way again. That plan in the background needs to make up its mind where it's going. It's kind of shifting back and forth. All hail Balthazar or something, I don't know. Yes. Called a globe meter, it is carried on the wrist. It enables its wearer to do three things. To fly through space, to detect radioactivity, and to speak and understand every language on the planet Earth. And tells time. Finally, this great form of the Emerald Hierarchy reaches a decision. In order to save Earth from the mass attack by the Zemarians, the Emerald Men once more must present the globe meter to one of their fellow creatures and send him to Earth. He is the creature made of the strongest steel, the creature who can disguise himself as Because, yes, Earth. aliens use steel. He is the creature known as Starman. Or Supergiant. Take your pick. Oof, space let one go again. Why do you keep paging to my watch? It's telling you nothing. Other than that there are trains and they exist. Hmm. We just landed in the middle of a Japanese the noir film. Facing a bank run, but shielded within that suitcase lies the living brain of Balazan. You would think they would know that, or at least something else is up. But you know. After him, men. <laughs> Back streets of Japan. Damn, he 
he's too fast for us. We'll never catch him. Oh, wait. <laughs> that sounds not annoying either. Didn't know that people allowed uh, musicians to rub cats against violins. <laughs> Stand back or I'll throw me in the water. <laughs> I just tried to run through that was a really bad plan. I never played football. <laughs> You're under arrest! With my bad fake Sir, American Japanese accent. The has just come in. Headquarters said they have captured the men. All of the money has been recovered. I see. You may go now. But I... I have these on. Do you have to take me into the station? Yes, come on. Oh, I'm very lousy. You're going to be killed. You've got to release me. I've got to search for that suitcase. I can't let you go yet. I'm aware you were not guilty of that robbery today. And yet you tried to escape from the police earlier. Just what we was think in that you case. were acting weird, so we're keeping you here anyway. You mentioned a brain of some sort. Are you sure it didn't really contain stolen jewels? What was in stolen it? Stolen jewels? What is it? I'm not lying, I tell you. You are lying. Now stop. Now, mm. tell the truth. I swear it. Really? It is a brain? An animal brain, is that right? <laughs> no, yeah, uh, well... From outer space. I, don't I don't know, would you call it, consider you? Walt Disney's brain an animal brain? <laughs> a creature that will rule the universe. Yes, Walt Disney. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. mm. The creature is called Palazar. It was hidden in that case. He was going to shave my eyebrows. I've been working with Dr. Kurokawa's laboratory assistant then. And the brain came to him there. It appeared to be a greasy hair. It was brought from oh. the planet Zima. Zima. Dr. Dr. Kurokawa began working under its evil power. Evil so powers. I the brain and ran. It must be destroyed. Otherwise, it will take over the Earth. Do you oh, mind? Fine. Let go of my suit. This is Okamoto. Ah, what can I do to help, sir? This is Dr. Kurokawa speaking. I've heard that you're holding Kawada, an assistant of mine, and I want to warn you about him. Do not trust anything that he might say. When the boy has an imagination, I thought I'd better warn you. Ah, uh, about the suitcase. It contains nothing of any value, I assure you. Just yes, the nothing of value. I've just the hide. You Kawada. I yes, I'll do he's absolutely yes, cool for Coco Pops. Me, Believe nothing, he says. <laughs> I just talked to Dr. Kurokawa. My apologies, you may go now. Mm. My apologies, you may go now. Apparently he's cuckoo for Coco Pops, buddy, so watch him. Well, did you find the suitcase? No, sir. The men searched everywhere down that stream, but no sign of it. Very well, you may call off the search then. Yes, sir. But that suitcase... If I don't find it, we'll all die! Poor crazy young man. We'll all die, you fool! There that day, apparently. <laughs> As Kawada searches for the precious suitcase, Balazar's brain orders his men to kill the youth. Kill him! Which is why they all dress like the Shadow. I'm the shadow. No, I'm the shadow. No, I'm the shadow. No, I'm the shadow. No, I'm the shadow. I got grabbed by a bunch of the shadow cosplayers. No, let me go. Just why are you doing this? I beg you, tell me who you are. You're trying to destroy the great Balazar's brain. Now you're going to pay with your life. Did the brain Wasn't well, this obvious? I, I mean, come on, why else would a bunch of guys just pop out nowhere and grab you? 
Now time for Snicker Snack. I am randomly there when I'm needed. Huzzah! The Shadow and his many Shadow clones are no match for Supergiant. Away, Starman! Away! Well, it helps with that the jackboot thugs don't actually have jackboots on, so yeah, away he goes. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> -ha, you were full by my double, now I shall kick your ass. Superman, eat your heart out. He's pitching an antenna. I've been trying to stop it. It has the greatest power in the universe. Unless science destroys it soon, it'll be too late. I want you to tell yeah. the story. Get me, I'm Crazy Pig Joe. I'll be part of the plot life. later, maybe. Because it's imperative that it be destroyed. To do so won't be easy. It is indestructible. Indestructible? What does that mean, anyways? If this blown up, Are you saying indestructible or indestructible? Because I would think those are two different who words. Be able to save the Earth. Only you. Only you can kill the brain. With your small mustache right. and your silly I hair. I must try. He's a great scientist. Oh, no? great! We have children in this movie too. I'm certain that your father wonderful is a folks. Save us all. We have our annoying children. Let us begin. Mutations, monsters created by the scientists on Zemar. Those monsters, what do they look like, do you know? Some, I think, look exactly like us. Mutations have also been made in other forms. Go on. A lot of them may be invisible and take forms which we cannot even imagine. They await orders from the brain. They wait the orders of the them. brain! I'll do what I can to stop this. I promise that you'll get my complete help. Supergiant, or Starman, the only superhero who was exactly like Superman, my only thing, doesn't care about go. hiding his identity. If you need me, I will answer it. Just take better care of it than the last couple of kids. I'll throw it, and you will answer. Well, children. Now I'll try to stop the brain. But for now, I gotta go, so if you really need any help, uh, I would suggest calling Space Chief or something. Good luck, Starman. All of us are counting on you. I know, and I'll try to save the planet Earth. Away! <laughs> I have to say, those are some pretty er accurate uh, transformation effects there. You to start your research They're apparently now, getting good at this. I shall. Let us start working together. He's still right there. <laughs> Kawada managed to get away. Starman attacked and rescued him. Now Kawada and Dr. Sakurai are seeking a formula. It is one that will destroy the brain of our honored leader, Balazar. If you command, <laughs> you kill both of them. Never mind them. My brother Okawa has rescued the brain. By now, the doctor is too late. All across Earth, everything is in readiness to attack Earth at any moment. I'm the There's evil Abraham, the Asian Lincoln. Mankind's run on Earth shall be ended. Shall be ended? The creatures attack. There's no one Root on Earth can resist them. It's starting mm -hmm. to sound like Bela Lugosi. <laughs> Ice of Superman. <laughs> I just saw reverse image, no! <laughs> really, it just takes a reverse image and things just go completely nuts. <laughs> monster! Oh, the reverse image monster! Attention, all patrol cars! Attention, all patrol cars! Emergency in the Koto district! You are to proceed to the area and see uh. a monster! Us that this would occur, isn't that right? Didn't you? Isn't that right? If doesn't succeed, these creatures will destroy us in a few days. Nah. That's true. <laughs> and I think some plans are in the office of Dr. Kurokawa. Plans? What kind are they? I don't know exactly. They have to do with that living brain, I think. 
They could aid in our research, so I shall go and try to locate them. Yes, I, I shall go and you. find you them. Take us, it's too dangerous for you. Besides, you're supposed to stay here and be precocious, don't kids. I don't want the stay here and annoy the audience and later. pat out the film, please. Wish me luck. I'll see you all later. <laughs> I'll need it. <laughs> he could be killed. I'm scared. He'll be all right. Until he runs into the brain people again and gets mauled. Hoping to verify Kawada's story to the police, Detective Okamoto has been following him. <laughs> I'm not being sneaky or suspicious at all. No, never. <laughs> hmm. Around the back, maybe? Nah, that'll never work. <laughs> yes, they'll never see me in a light brush. <laughs> I see you. So that's the claw. You were never the claw, don't you? Hello, I'm here to sell you encyclopedias. One's here. Okay, encyclopedias, encyclopedias. No, I don't see any encyclopedias here. Couldn't try to crease the page any more possible, could I? Yes, yes, the key to the liquor cabinet. Like Joe managed to sneak up on him. <laughs> I'm afraid it's no longer safe in this house. Yes. Close it all. All secret instructions. Bring them. Sure, boss. Just a second. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I'm a detective. I see nothing suspicious here. Just Abraham Lincoln going out with his eagle again today. Mm. Trilling. Going down. Vroom. Aha! My greatest secret, I can actually walk. Open sesame. I mean, this suitcase. Now hop on the tiny platform and let's go. Wait, wasn't I following someone else? Oh, that's right! Kawada, <laughs> you alright? Can you talk? I'm alright. The doctor did this, am I right? Uh, peg like Joe. He, look out, he has a mean blow. <laughs> Apparently Batman hired an army and they're not budget. I 
expecting great news from our leader, Balazar. Oh, really? He is very pleased. He asked me to tell you that preliminary attacks have been successful. However, yeah. Dr. Sakurai is working on defenses. We cannot make our final attack before we find out one thing. How successful. Doctor has been in his search for a formula which would kill our leader, Balazar's brain. I have ordered one of our new mutants, which breathes radioactive vapor, to visit the doctor and to get our answers from him. <laughs> yes! Because all monsters breathe radioactive vapor, don't they? <laughs> and the music suddenly stubbed its toe. <laughs> Is this a laboratory or is this actually a newsstand? Whoever it is, they're emitting sulfur! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ridiculous or anything, am I? <laughs> nice batch. <laughs> I pre ripped it. <laughs> Huzzah! A squeaky mutant, I'll give him that. <laughs> Shinkara! Ugh, not interpretive dance. Whoa! Whoa! Both the villain and the hero are slightly suicidal. One of the mutations attacked the doctor. An emergency search should be conducted immediately. Call out a general alarm. Keep you away! Our man must be wary. One slash of the mutant's solid cobalt nails could destroy him. Oh yes, they could, couldn't they? Because he's such a weak, frail superhero he is. <laughs> Take that, and that! Oh hey! <laughs> you magically jump to places, how huh? win? You know that? Uh. <laughs> ha! Yeah! Uh. Pop, 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 pop. Is that using flamethrowers on it? <laughs> the amount of light and we have no feet. Started to multiply. The gas may cause it. I'll fight them another day. Yippee away! Do 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 do
useless. Well, I go chase them off screen. All parts of the world. Research in this guarded laboratory is being feverishly conducted by Dr. Sakurai and his assistants, who seek desperately a formula which could destroy the leader of the invaders, Balazar's brain. Already, many of the mutants, disguised as human beings, are walking the streets of Earth's cities. To pay for their food and clothing, they frequently commit daring robberies, such as the one now being carried out. Good day. Can I, I want to look at engagement rings. Yes, sir. Yes, engagement rings. <laughs> a lovely diamond, sir. Mm, That's like what you like say. Yeah. But my pasty face says otherwise. Papa, come on. I want to go home. What is it? Dart in her neck. What is it? Robberies are increasing, as you know. The police have got to stop And the stun darts are something we should but be looking for to right world. about now. Also, these creepy pasty guys with them. trench coats. They're kind you of a giveaway. Using weapons. I would suggest attempting something else. I think you must capture one. Must capture That's one. The only way we might learn about them. I mean, we might also find out where they hide their hair grease. <laughs> As you no doubt realize, this is the first stage of an insidious invasion by which all of Earth is threatened with ultimate destruction. Mankind is depending on you. Those are our bow ties. No Earth scientist is safe from the Sumerians. Tonight, None of them, I swear. Professor Ishii carries some of the defense plans home for study. Bad move. <laughs> Basic guys in trench coats will never be suspected of this crime. Random new villains away. And they came as they went. Ooh. Two, two of them took the plans. They. Oh. The brisket isn't the. Uh. Two children, Isako and Harada, are returning home from a neighbor's birthday party. Characters you've never seen before and likely need more annoying children in this. One of them looks like a nerd and the other one looks like he's wearing a muscle suit underneath a coat. Got this woman's purse. You want to see what's inside? Yeah. Well, there's a packet of chewing gum. Ooh, give me. Yeah, let's keep it. Hum, <laughs> hum, <laughs> Hi, get strangers. Uh, wait a second. I think we're being followed. Detective Taragawa, before investigating further, must seek medical help for the stricken Professor Ishii. The detective sees what appears to be a private hospital. Yes, apparently. Mm 
Hello? Excuse me, nurse. We've lost the badge, lady. I'm a police officer. There's a man who's been hurt in the next corner. The man needs medical aid. But this is a private hospital. I know that, yet you can't let him suffer there. Oh, I overheard. Send an ambulance for the man immediately. He'll be treated very well. Thank you, sir. You're a policeman, huh? Yes. Looking for mutants? Yes. Uh, I trust you'll be successful. I wish you luck. Thank you, Doctor. Now, if you excuse me, uh, by all means. This is no real doctor. This is a Zamarian mutant. <laughs> well, thanks for ruining the surprise for us, movie. <laughs> they acted strange. We should investigate. Not me. And you know that Father warned us not to stay out late, so let's get on. You're afraid. I'm not. I'm going to become a detective in a few years, so I'll learn how tonight. That's why I look like I have a really makeshift Sherlock Holmes outfit on. Now why are you children out so late? That's a big secret. <laughs> late? It's practically midday. <laughs> Look at my identification cards. You mean you're a detective, then? That's right, children. That's right, yes. I didn't see anything suspicious tonight. There were two men acting very strangely. Oh? Oh? What did they look like? <laughs> they were wearing light coats and carrying some kind of case. Yes. <gasps> oh! And the Paley had dead skins underneath their trench coats. Ah! I came out of nowhere and I explicitly help you. Huzzah! <laughs> For it is the freaking Starman way! Come back, let me beat you up some more. Your dance skins have no chance against me and my, my dull breasted suit here. My silly hat. <laughs> they kind of self harmed there, didn't they? In that one he just slapped. Not for now, at least. Just who are you? I was not born on your planet Earth. Instead, I was sent here to save you from the Zimmerians. Oh, Starman. You will die if I fail to kill them. Starman is what I am called. Y yeah, uh, the fact that you never hide your identity from anyone should uh, have been obvious at this point. Attention! And my lumpy mask is perfect for this outfit, right? Our great leader will issue the final orders to attack. And you all shall obey them. By the Marian master! Please! He's obviously the leader because he has a cape. Excuse us. How thorough. <laughs> what is it? Why are you here? Starman fought off. Our whole unit, Starman. Starman? Starman. You'll have to be destroyed. Yes, Starman. <laughs> Come play Go. Oh, wait, no. Oh. <laughs> Scientists continue desperately to seek one formula which will stop the mutants from dividing and another formula which will destroy Balazar's brain when it is located. Yes. Time is running out for the planet Earth. Inspector, I'm still suspicious of that hospital. Hmm. You know, at first I thought you were wasting your time investigating the hospital, but I don't know now. You don't, sir? No. 
I find it strange that Professor Ishii died there. They could have saved him. Yes. I would yes. like you to keep the hospital under surveillance. Yet they mustn't know that you're doing this. This might turn out to be one of their headquarters. I'd like a report uh, Sir, should you be smoking anything. them uh, your grease hair fires? Remember, sir? <laughs> Very lazy jump roping going on there. The two Zimmerians who attack Professor Ishii realize they must get rid of the only humans able to identify them. The Not like they're pasty, and wormy, and don't stand out in the crowd, anyways. <laughs> Doesn't help that they fr freaking shaved off their eyebrows, too. Oh, your shoelace is untied. I'll fix it. Hmm. <laughs> ooh! ooh. I don't think so, not today. I'm on to your dirty schemes. <laughs> I wave my hands and your darts are ineffective. Mm. Are you about done? You tried this about 60 times by now. <laughs> But I wanted to make friends. Oh. Always lose friends. Doctor, a child is here. He's been hurt. Oh, so you mean. Come in here, Isako. Now go ahead. It's all right. <laughs> no. What's the matter, Did I hardly touch me at all? That's hmm. true, Doctor. But he should remain for examination, don't you think so? Hmm. He wouldn't like to have an infection. Definitely not. Ooh, definitely off. not. <laughs> <laughs> well, put him in one of the rooms. It's no use. I won't go in. Oh, oh behave and don't be afraid. I think you'll be all right now. <laughs> yes. I'm certain he'll be a good boy. Tell me. Yes, a good boy. Tomorrow. Then you can leave tomorrow if you're well. <laughs> <laughs> You must ask, why is the young lad wearing pajama pants all the time? Isn't this nice? You have warm blanket and everything. Of course, if you like. If you like a nap, you can take it. I'll come back later. Later, yes. Mm. Behave. Take care of him, he's my only brother. We mm will. -hmm. I'll come by tomorrow to take you home. Don't forget. <coughs> come along, don't be worried. Your brother's in good hands. Yes, in I good hands. <laughs> I'll escape as soon as I can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not up to anything sinister, I'm just walking out here by myself. Yes, nothing sinister at all. Suspect me at all. There'll be no problem. But I will have trouble with that man from the Emerald Planet. Starman. Yes, I believe he's Starman, Star yes. <laughs> Nobody here. Hmm. <laughs> I detected that slight noise. Still see no one, so I could believe that no one's seeing me. Turn it slower. And pa boom, I'm gone.
Time for me to fall out and get in trouble because I'm an annoying kid. <laughs> actually, those aren't pajama bottoms. Those are actually, like, tights or something. So I have to ask Japan, what the heck? What the heck's with this kid's outfit? Is this something that just kind of happened in the 60s or what? If I turn the phone blockhead on this thing... It should be motion the prop hand to move that door for me. Come on! Mm -mm. Ta-da! I am a genius. Does anyone ever get water out of that fountain? I bring orders from Balazar's brain. Yes. The attack shall start tomorrow morning. More units will be sent as needed. Some shall contain mutants created recently. You must always use them. You will take positions as soon as it is dark. You will try to kill off the creators of Common Rider and Ultraman before they can be made and get more popular than this stuff. One other thing. Starman shall counterattack. You must destroy him. Because yes, we can so certainly destroy him, even though all of our previous attempts at trying to get rid of anyone who knows us has completely and totally backfired and failed. It only got us trapped in the public eye even more. Don't talk about your evil plans or anything in front of me. <laughs> Just trying to hide out in the open, this kid. He's. Kid, you'd be less obvious if you were wearing a neon sign. Coast with airship cover, and we will move the third mutant army in from this point. Correct. Malazar will give the final orders within a few hours. A spy! Yes, a child. He's obviously a spy. Looks vaguely of my grandmother. <laughs> Come along, children. Oh, yes. Your hand. Oh, we'll have some. Come along. Come, Harada. Harada, what are you doing there? You mustn't worry. He'll be all right in the hospital. He wasn't hurt, Harada. They said he'd be all right. I hope he is. Oh, yes. I hope he is. He's going to have fun. Mm. Mm. I want you to join us. Shall we hit this point over the head some more? Then I, I hope he's okay. Let's go and eat, eh? I'm all right. Will you join us, Harada? Later. <sighs> Something is wrong there. I'm certain that there is. Which is why I trusted them and left my friend there. Harada. You're certain? Yes. I can't help feeling that Sako's in trouble at the hospital, and I had to leave him there all alone. I didn't know this, Arata. You could be right. I must investigate. You stay here. I, I must investigate. As Starman flies to save Isako, his sister decides to send the police also to rescue her brother. <laughs> of course, doing this all off screen and having to explain more exposition out of the clear blue sky. Huzzah! I'm racing off towards vague and confusing. Away! It's not like we're in the midst of three different totally... Ep Let me try that again. It's not like we're in the midst of three totally different episodes trying to collage them all into one big thing and end up like a mess. Whoa. Yeah, seriously, we just literally jumped right into a fight sequence without even introducing him coming into the area. My mustache! And yes, Silver Pommy, so I can do this! <laughs> 
Aha! Starman, I'm not against tripping people and giving them the bashing they deserve. I warn you, there's railings here. <laughs> I'll kick your ass. <laughs> the fighting continues on! Uh, so, yeah, well, obviously the point when I'm alone with you guys talking about this movie is that I should also bring up some behind-the-scenes stuff. And, well, there's not much dialogue to be missed in the midst of a fighting sequence, don't you agree? Although I will admit that the fighting sequences are actually pretty damn decent uh, for the low-budget silly films that these are. Probably half the reason why they were actually so popular as they were. But, uh, I get the feeling that we I should cover a few things I've learned after the uh, previous episode. Uh, first of all, our main actor here that plays Starman, or Supergiant, depending upon which version you prefer to call him, is Ken Itsusi. Itsui? Itsui? Uh, U-T-S-U-I, something like that, I believe. Uh, he is played by a very well-respected film and TV actor, uh, but at the same time, Ken here actually really hated playing Supergiant, and to this day refuses to talk about the role. Uh, apparently he uh, really did not care for the costume and found it to be quite embarrassing. And uh, the fact that also the part that bothered him the most possibly was the fact that they stuffed his crotch area. Apparently, the producers thought that it would bring in more females if they thought that he was well endowed. So they stuffed that particular area with cotton on his costume. But yeah, it didn't really stop or uh, bring in any real extra people that wouldn't enjoy these movies already, and uh, he got on pretty quite well, in fact, in Japan. Despite the silliness of the shows. Correct. I know I'll meet him again. He's just one among many Zimmerians. They have invaded all areas of Earth. I face a great challenge. Uh, also, after as the series was drawn to a close, I was actually getting manga adaptations in Japan, which apparently also helped to continue contributing to the popularity of the character inside of Japan and would, of course, eventually lead to other... Uh, um, special effects TV shows as well as movies. Since these were also chunked in form for movies in the United States, they were more or less like half hour long episodes released in theaters, uh, much like a regular short. Something like 20 to 30 minutes long. Yay, for whatever! Hello. It's the crazy pasty beetles. <laughs> and with the guy in front of the glasses, you'd almost think that they're like villains or something, trying to be incognito as someone important. Oh. Sure enough, uh, just when you think those guys are going to be the villains because they look pasty, awkward, and weird, we actually get our villains right out here. And apparently our villains don't really recognize the fact that there's policemen all over them. I fear you not. Coming through. How about you? Can't <laughs> kill him. Ha ha! I'm actually Starman. Suck it. Too bad. I'm where is the reader? He just remained on the plane. I believe that he is safe now. He's already left. He's out the back door. 
So smeg you. Hey guys, you can go out and get yourself safe now. Oh wait, what? So wait, you're here to be his body got double and to sit protect him, but then you bring him out anyways? And are forced to further protect him because they now know where he is? I demand you give yourself up, Dr. Ishiyama. You will be punished for all your crimes against the Earth. I'm warning you for the last time. Don't attempt to escape. <laughs> if you try to stop me, I'll throw this nuclear grenade. Get away! <laughs> this is the part of the genius of bringing out the guy that they're targeting. Yeah. Way to go, Starman. So, did that guy die? Did Starman grab it? What happened there? No? No explanation? Just off towards vague and confusing? Okay. Seems to be the linchpin of this particular piece together movie. Ooh! <laughs> you thought you killed me, didn't you? Too badass for your pathetic nuclear grenades. And how many times do I have to block darts and guns before you realize your weapons don't work? <laughs> Go space chief the hell out of this. <laughs> Princess Space, I hope you're watching. You're not cared for this role, but you know what? I got to flip people. You know what? <laughs> as silly as this could be, it's kind of fun. It's kind of a shame that he doesn't really like the fact that he was in this role, but I get the feeling that much like other Japanese actors that didn't really care for their really popular sci-fi roles, it might have been something that he kind of learned to got, get over and actually enjoy in the long run. Because yes, this is extremely silly and cheesy, but you can't find this not entertaining. <laughs> More running around in a circle, oh we're caged in villains now, oh criminy. <laughs> <laughs> well, buckets. <laughs> Sometimes invisible, and then taking on weird shapes, the Sumerian mutants begin to kill Earthlings indiscriminately. Indiscriminately, as in in the public. Because that's what this is right now. It's very much in the public and can be easily seen. It's all Milwaukee in there. <laughs> oh, bitches, give me some cotton candy. <laughs> Some orange juice? Orange juice affair? What? <laughs> yeah, they pretty much turned down that orange juice thing and went cotton candy. Get me. Hmm. Only 10 yen a pop there. Not bad price, I think. <laughs> I have a completely different plot point from out of nowhere, but we're just gonna call me a mutant anyways. Ooh. Alluring and disturbing all at once. Kind of odd. Thanks, Japan. <laughs> Uh, Noriko, back straight, please. You must keep it straight. That's better. Plie and up. <laughs> back. And jazz hands. Up and plie. Excellent. Chins up, chins up, girls. Gracefully, gracefully. Nami, you've forgotten already. Fingers together. That's it. Good. Hold it. Arms straight. Over san. Again. Hold yourselves in. And. <laughs> One, 
Ant, too. Obi-Wan Kenobi! You are my only hope. Because I am witchy poo or something, I don't know. Are you interested in my eyebrows? <laughs> At this moment, an earthling traitor named Michio delivers the final plans for the Sumerian attack to Professor Okawa, who is the brother of Dr. Kurakawa, and who will conduct the germ warfare phase of the impending attack. In other words, we're just bringing in a whole bunch of new people because of the new plot and trying to make up excuses everywhere to try and somehow tie them into the first plot, which has literally gone nowhere for the last half hour. Enjoy! What's that? Oh, yeah! <laughs> And uh, have your own free will. <laughs> Sorry, boss. A few frames this mi went missing there. I don't know why. Hi. <laughs> I brought the plan, sir. The attack starts tomorrow. Or late bringing them here. I'm sorry. It really doesn't matter. All the preparations are made. I you stop combing your hair to one side of your you. head. Yes? Naturally. I wish you success. You can go now. I'm busy. You can go right, now. Sir. I'm busy. I'll go over the plans later. My gravelly voice doesn't lure you. Then good day. Piss off. No, nothing. Scum of the earth. <laughs> no, wow. It's a Japanese version of the first doctor with a patch over his eye, or around his eye. My face is partially scarred, ergo I must be a villain. You guys really don't look carefully into who you hire for this stuff, do you? He is a germ mutation, isn't he? Oh well, time to visit the real lab. Where we'll probably have a fight sequence later. Why is my sheen playing the saxophone? Let me guess, this is supposed to be the brain. Tomorrow's a day. All the earthlings will be dead. Thanks to you. You're the original germ. All the others are from you. You are the one that made them. Without you, the Sumerian invasion might be stopped. But the whole earth is helpless against you. And I created you, Super John. You owe every single minute of your life to my knowledge and help. Yes. You must answer to me just as I must answer in turn to Balazar's brain. Oh, wait, that's not the brain? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness for that, at least. Or a human being shall die. Yes, all of them. I swear it. Destroy them. Just because I was randomly scarred on one side of my face. And the Earth. Shall become a tiny part of the Zima Empire. And I shall rule with my omnipotent bow tie. Vast armies of mutants, multiplied to fantastic amounts, moved stealthily into positions for the great attack. <sighs> I'd much rather watch uh, freaking tanks driving around a canyon. <laughs> K 
God. Did they just literally pull all these guys out of a clone factory or something? Good grief. I'm the shadow. I'm the shadow. I'm the shadow. I'm the shadow. In defense, Starman also is moving to attack as he searches for the secret laboratory from which the mutants are being created and from which deadly germs are creeping over the earth, killing every human in their paths. I don't care much for this role, but it's still fun, isn't it? <laughs> My batch is here to save you. <laughs> it's the germs. Easy. Can you talk? You've got to talk. <laughs> what will you hear when you hear a attack? Talk. You've got to have talk. I will try. I will work on top of the hill. I don't now have the germs, you fool. I just want a glass of water. Damn it all. <laughs> <laughs> and we have stairs, ladies and gentlemen. Stairs! <laughs> we had Batman earlier, now we have the Riddler. <laughs> We need two more fight sequences, at least. And maybe a couple of fights with the mutant. So I'm gonna kill that first one. Really me this, Doctor Who? very <laughs> deadly. I'll take only a few of these and wipe out a billion of them. Yes. As soon as it ends. Are you going to destroy the mutants because you'll no longer be needing them? Wait. Have them. <sighs> okay, no I have to ask. What's it the sci first scientist having a guy with a peg leg and then this scientist having a guy with a hooked hand? My barely working effect is coming at you. I think Tom has out there. I can hear him. Kazama, did you betray their secret base? I use the germs experimentally outside. That's all. On an old woodcutter. Your fool! That act will lead Starman straight to us! You idiot! He's freaking Japanese Superman! You'll see right through everything now! Starman moves in on the Sumerian Germ Laboratory. As soon as he is notified, defense forces. Of course he will. Because this is a job for the proper authorities! <laughs> or more likely the defense forces from this ran would show up there and we might as well somewhat include them in this because they're gonna show up anyways. So someone had to alert them of Starman's plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be away. <laughs> to Starman, flying is not unlike swimming. My grease here detects him. Over there. Keep going, men. It's our big base in the hole. Matter of fact, you already entered the building. <laughs> oh, oh Raylan kill. That's a Raylan kill. I'm counting that one. Oh, there goes another one! <laughs> hi -ya! Keep coming at me, bro! I will make another railing kill! <laughs> Stop trying to out that acrobatic me! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Get him! Oh! 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 Huh! Sparklers are gone for no reason! Actually, I think those were guns, but I couldn't tell really well. 
Oh! That's a railing kill that even killed the railing. <laughs> Music stubbed its toe again. I use a mutant. One of the greatest of them. Its nuclear weapon will destroy Starman. Yes, it will. Nuclear weapon. The claw. <laughs> Bubbling goo thing, help me! Help me! I am William Hartnell, help me now! Earlier I had my eye closed, and now I'm keeping it open for no apparent reason. I don't know. Witchy poo here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. Yes, where's my flying monkeys? There's us clear over there, it was there the whole time. Oh, damn it. Ugh. Ugh. I sure hope they find the escalator. <laughs> huh. yeah. and that's how we switch off from between the stunt man and the actual actor. Mm. Hey, Claw Guy, you're not that swift. <laughs> I have your only weapon. Don't make me make you eat it. Is that a flip kill? Ooh! Wait, did she just make a cuckoo clock noise at him? You breathe fire, but it has very little effect on me and my loins. So, Witchy Poo, at last we meet. For the last time, I'm afraid. <laughs> the overacting act extras back there are trying to figure out when they can get in. Whee! Your fire, even though not even feet within, within feet of me will never catch me on fire. Ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> Aha! The defense forces! Only about five minutes too late. <laughs> it's not like he completely stopped your attacks when you were using them at point blank range or killed my other guy! Kill him! Chilling. Nice cardboard walls, by the way. Gotcha. Who sets had more budget behind them? <laughs> I don't think they had as many lights, though. And whoa! Yeah, don't feed your mutants explosive jelly for lunch. That's two of my main three battles done. <laughs> that was an effectual death. Well, this disease plot that came out of nowhere has gone back to where it came from.
and has taken the villain from it with him. There isn't any pulse. What's in here? Gentlemen, it's a nuclear device. I will destroy it safely away from civilization. There is little time. I know what lies ahead. You have to find the brain, the leader of the Zemerians. That's urgent. Unless that is destroyed, they still may win. All Earth hopes that you can succeed in killing it. And we're trying to shoot more, more of that, we know that they were long lost hours, plot well, thread right. into this. <laughs> I shall search for their headquarters when I get rid of this. And may also look for a more flattering suit. <laughs> Away! Alazar's brain within Supreme Headquarters is well hidden from Starman's search. Yes, well, well hidden. Or he's just not really caring to search very hard and is waiting for the other humans to try and do something first. But, uh, yeah, in case you're also wondering why it's so inco incoherent of a movie, uh, the first episode was technically about 47 minutes long. The second episode was, I believe, 56, and then the third episode was 57 minutes long. And then they took all this and shoved it down your throat in about an hour and 18 minutes. So, yeah, something that was technically closer to almost uh, three hours long, chunked down to an hour and a half. Yeah, there's nothing but shoehorning in this movie. And we're randomly back to this monster again. Yay! Because we so wanted to see it again and have a conclusion to it. <sighs> but yeah, then again, this appearance is very much a warning that yes, we are in fact ready to shoehorn the last few seconds of this plot in. And get this sucker over with. I sound effect annoying yet! Send back or I'll be that squealy tonsil bar! No! Get away! <laughs> I'll flap my giant ear things at you! <laughs> Ooh! You crafty bastard! Wait, let it get away. I should try what? to follow it. <laughs> Again? And then, Your Excellency. It could lead me to their headquarters. That is what I am seeking. Once I get there, I will find their leader. Because now I can actually focus on the main plot at long last. Keep you away! Another half decent flying effect. Although the costume is still very unflattering. Look, Shaman! Look out! Yes, I've randomly appeared at your base now! Ha ha! So long last, we also come back to you guys, too, so I can whip you all! <laughs> so yes, Starman, murderer of three civilizations in only one film. Ha ha! <laughs> I guess not completely murderer, but heavy clobberer and destroyer of weapons. Da 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 yeah, thanks for coming, Defense Forces. You can take your sweet time. I'll make more railing kills. Stair kills, too. Whoa! That was a little violent, wasn't it? It's literally slamming the guys through their own base wall. Either they didn't do a very good job of making the wall solid, or that's some really thin drywall. Will you guys make something better than a Star Trek set? Oh, hi there again. 
You guys are number your ability to randomly teleport. Time to kick your ass. Whee! Your wrestling belt does not offend me. <laughs> Watch out for the ornament there. <laughs> ah! Huzzah! A mutant monster that's somehow afraid of defense forces. But the, 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 bu the bullets hurt that thing? You think it would be so easy to kill? Oh, then again, it's already on the floor. That was. anticlimactic. Thanks, Starman. Mirtine! Mirtine! Antium! Antium! Aha! Your boss! Thud! <laughs> Whack! Bonk! Thudded! <laughs> Bungled! Slashed! Nutted! <laughs> No, oh, you found me out in my middle of my plot. Never mm. more. <laughs> and the kids, for no apparent reason, as well as the other people that were once part of this plot and disappeared for the longest time and then came back again. <sighs> It may be in there, a logical place to hide. Oh, you can open it with these. I will. I will. Oh, oh. Yeah, stick away the evil villain guy. Uh, let's go check out this brain thing, kids. Is that it? Is that Belazar's brain? That looks more yes. like Frankenstein's heart. Of course, it's supposed to be the brain. Just a moment, Doctor, and I'll give you the formula. I worked all night on it. If it works on the brain, all the mutants in the world will also die. Yes. Ooh. Kill the mutants, huh? Yes. <laughs> Apparently, that's sodium. And for all of you who get that joke, kudos. Oh, sodium! I hate sodium! It's dead. Success, yes? So is my hair. <laughs> oh, it's the last time I had to wear this costume. Kids, don't look directly in my batch, please. You'll be safe, children. The Demarians will never come here again. Not like you were really ever threatened ever in the movie to begin with because we had other stupid kids that did annoying things. And matter of fact, we never saved that other boy. <sighs> There's even plot threads that this movie brings up that it doesn't even follow up on. We'll live peacefully. I must return to the Emerald Planet. I bid you all farewell, my friends. On the biggest set we ever had on this show. Oh, he suddenly sucked to the void right there. Holy shit! But the place didn't collapse in around them. Goodbye. Hope you don't all get killed by my temporal shift. And so that was Starman. That was the last episode of him, the uh, evil brain from outer space. I hope you all enjoyed my little commentary here, and I'll see you all next time. Good evening. <laughs>